Wonderful to be here, seeing uh, uh, a lot of old friends uh, with whom I've uh, exchanged thoughts about the uh, Indonesian and international economies for many decades, and uh, it's uh, it's great great to be back here amongst you. Um, uh, it's a uh, great pleasure and an honour to uh, be able to give this lecture uh, in honour of uh, Professor Sudley. Um, uh, Professor Sudley, as has already been recalled, uh, uh, made a huge contribution to uh, the discussion of economic policy uh, in Indonesia, and uh, he helped a lot of us in the rest of the world to understand what was happening in Indonesia and the policy choices facing Indonesia. Um, I see him as uh, 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 being for a long time at the center of what I call the independent center of the polity. Uh, I'm going to say later on in, in the lecture that uh, uh, to get good economic policy uh, you need uh, a substantial discussion amongst people who are interested in the issues because they're important for the country's development and not because they are seeking to influence policy on behalf of some vested interest uh, <coughs> or some partisan uh, political uh, interest. And um, I think whether or not you have such a strong independent center of the national polity is a very important influence on the quality uh, of economic policy. Uh, and uh, I think events uh, like, like this uh, um, uh, but uh, the sort of discussion uh, uh, that was centered around uh, Professor Sudley for, for a very long time uh, are, are a very important part of, of the policy making process. And unless you have good independent analysis and discussion of, of, of the issues, uh, you won't get good economic policy. And I'm going to say later on that uh, one of the uh, um, the weaknesses of uh, e e economic policy later reflected in the economy in both Australia and Indonesia uh, in recent times is that that independent centre has not been as strong uh, as would be desirable and it's really important for good policy that that's um, strengthened in future. Um, I first uh, had contact with Professor Sudley in the early 70s uh, when he visited Australia. In, at the time he was a minister, coordinating minister responsible for foreign investment and uh, uh, the Australian National University uh, had organized a conference on uh, direct foreign investment and uh, Sudley made a very uh, uh, large and creative contribution to that and uh, that's where quite a few of us first became uh, aware of the issues involved in direct foreign investment uh, in Indonesia and uh, he remained closely uh, in contact with our work at the ANU uh, for, uh, uh, well, for the rest of his life. Um, uh, it was uh, Professor Sudley, uh, of course, who was the ministerial leader of the original foreign investment laws and uh, the original mining laws that, uh, that got uh, uh, large-scale uh, mining uh, going in Indonesia in, in, the, in the late 60s, so his uh, personal uh, ministerial contributions were very closely related to the topic today. Uh, by the mid-80s, uh, he had retired from ministerial roles and uh, had become that that role as a participant in the independent discussion of policy, and I think in that role he's uh, he, he was very important to the successful uh, transition that Indonesia made in the middle of the 80s, transition that uh, Iwan Aziz has uh, already mentioned, uh, from reliance uh, on uh, exports of oil into a more diversified export pattern that was very helpful to Indonesian development from the middle of the 80s uh, until the Asian financial crisis. Uh, and which reached its depths here in 1998. Um, I, I think that uh, Sudley's contribution to thinking about that was uh, uh, were, were very important. 
Uh, I remember many uh, uh, important uh, insights into <coughs> policy making in general and in Indonesia that I learned from uh, Sadly. <coughs> he used to say often, uh, never waste a good crisis, and, uh, uh, and uh, uh, the Indonesian policy response to the fall in the oil price in the middle of the 80s was, he, was one of the occasions on which he used that expression. Well, uh, I think Indonesia faces a similar sort of situation today with the end of the resources boom. And so if Sally was here, he would be saying to us all, uh, make sure you don't waste this crisis. Uh, um, and uh, uh, another feature of uh, Sudley's contribution to policy is that uh, he always tried to think about what was best, but he never made the best the enemy of the good. Uh, he always recognized he won't get perfect policy, uh, but uh, uh, as, long as, uh, as long as you're moving strongly in the right direction and resisting pressures for, for bad policy, uh, you can progressively make things better. And, uh, Another thing I recall from uh, uh, his uh, uh, discussion of Indonesian economic policy in the early years, uh, he he uh, would have liked a much quicker uh, path to low protection in uh, in, in Indonesia, but uh, uh, he he was pragmatic about it and said, "Well, don't worry too much. If uh, protection is above twenty five percent, then Indonesian business people will find some way of of not paying it." So. Uh, 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 so it will not be as damaging as uh, uh, as it might look. So uh, I'm really pleased to be uh, uh, speaking today in his honour. And just uh, in passing, I might remark uh, that uh, Pierre uh, talked about the, the two uh, big annual lectures uh, uh, that the Indonesia Project at ANU is associated with, one in honour of... Uh, uh, of Professor Sudley and uh, the other in honour of uh, Hadi uh, Susastra and uh, it's very appropriate that these two uh, great leaders of economic thinking in Indonesia are, uh, are remembered in this way.